Jesus, I'm fine. Oh God. Hello, welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lydia and if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to another vlog. In today's vlog, I'm thinking of doing a day in the life of an influencer type vlog where I show you guys how I create content for brands like behind the scenes. But right now it's 11.30 p.m. So that's night. There's always electricity in the night more than in the daytime. So... I need to film like two contents for them, one for Instagram, one for YouTube. In like my house shirt from my varsity um, landmark university. In case you're wondering the premium designer shirt I had on. <laughs> first things first, I need to tidy up my room. Like I have clothes to, just like clothes to put apart, like keep where they're meant to be after laundry and then lay my bed. I'll never catch you while I'm this Butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm? I'm working with Get Fit Wash right now. I'm super excited to get to work with this brand. So, this is the instructions here. It's very well packaged. Can you see? This one is so fresh and new. This one is so new. So cute package that came from Bells. Bells is my baby girl. She's a hair care guru like for natural hair. Thank you so much for home. This is the shampoo. This is the deep conditioner and this is the leave-in conditioner. I'll definitely try this out and let you guys know how it goes but definitely check out them. Even if you don't want this product, they have a lot of other products. She packed a lot in this very tiny carton. I have a new afro comb to try out this chunky this one is like a rattan. It looks really cute. So I'm going to go get ready. First on my list for getting ready is my hair, and these both are from Niger Beauty Hair. They're really good, especially if you want like good hair that you know will last long and still affordable. Check them out. Um, this is the black one and my blonde one. I already have them pre-curled. I just need to make up my mind on which one to wear. I'm wearing um, white, a white short and a white shirt for this campaign. Even though they are not matching white, it will still go well. I think probably the blonde will go more with the white. take the light because this is 3 22 a.m and it's take me like an hour or more to do my makeup i already have my setup how i want it i'll film later because if i go on to do it now and they take the light i'll be so bummed because i'll just be waiting on the bed for when they'll bring the light i won't be able to do any other thing i wish we had constant light but we don't but this is my waist trainer now you can see how it's fitting and the size large i just go to a size large from an xxl Don't ask me, cause baby, I'm okay. 
I'm just now realizing in my journey to finding myself more and trying to know the kind of person I am just in and out, like really accessing levels to my mind I didn't know was even there. I realized that in my weight loss journey especially, I'm still kind of like a baby, you know? In the sense that I now realize that I've slowly started going back to the habits uh, my body knows. It's easy for you to think that, oh, building a, a character after three months, you kind of get into it and you don't forget it. But I personally don't think that's true because I went through a whole process where I was just um, not eating right anymore. I, I kind of lost my way towards the end of the year in 2020 and the beginning of this year, even up until February, to be very honest with you. I realized that the habits are the very core habits I was trying to change is, you know, like um, plate eating, like plating my food. I said I was going to stop using really big plates to eat. I realized now that I've gone back to using big plates to eat. Yesterday I ate rice in a small plate and I'm like, hmm, I was doing this small plate thing for a while. Why did I stop? I didn't realize how easy it was for those characters I've known for the past 25 years to easily compete and crush my baby, the keyword here is baby, baby character of working out and getting fit that I'm trying to work on. I i've slowly come to that realization that i'm still a beginner in this and i would have to do it for a while to get my foot in in it and i'm not going to be so hard on myself anymore but i'm also going to be paying attention more because these things creep back on you they really do creep back they creep back like i'm now eating almost three amala back and i couldn't eat up to two last as at november last year If you're someone out there trying to try something new, no matter what chat it is or what process you're going through, just know that it's baby steps. It's easy to try to say, okay, I figured out going to the university, I figured out going to secondary school, I'm grown, this should be easy for me. But no, your mind, your being, everything about you is, you know, learning that thing for the first time. I never used to work out before. Don't over critique yourself. Just give yourself time to be a baby, to learn that art, that craft, and just enjoy the growing process. Like, enjoy becoming a butterfly, enjoy earning your wings. Just be kinder to yourself, okay? Know that whatever it is you're doing, it's okay not to succeed as others are. I'm not in a hurry, I'm taking my time, I'm getting the highs and the lows, trying to really get into this fitness thing because I've tasted it, I've seen it's good and I really want to keep trying it for the rest of my life. Hello, sometimes when you plan content to film the night before like I did, it doesn't always work out and especially because it's not like my regular just sit down and create videos I have had my bath as well so I want to pick up from where I left off which is to lay my hair do my makeup, wear back the same outfit I, I wore like for continuation I already wrote them out here what I'm going to do you know, it's important that if you're having like if you're a content creator you need to plan out your videos think of it more like a script and script writing and 
acting so you're the actress you're the script writer you're the director you're the producer you're the lighting coordinator you're the microphone assistant you're the you're everything in one all encompassing as a content creator so you have to make sure that you put your thoughts down if not it's going to be a lot more difficult so i already have what i'm going to be like points on what i'm going to be saying in the youtube video and then for instagram i just want to make it like a quick real transition transition so that's just my thought process for everything now i'm going to go ahead and start doing my hair I'm done laying my hair. This tea is really important, guys. And now you've seen it in a few of my videos. I'm sure I've shown it. It's still very hot, so I just put my makeup things in here. I just wanna dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast. to do that ariana grande inspired eyeliner that it did in rain on me with lady gaga and i decided to you know do a tutorial for you guys my eyes are watering because of the light the light is too bright the eyeshadow is actually taking longer than i imagined i thought it was going to be really easy to do but for black liner i'm using the mixture of this one from inglot this life liner from huda beauty if you don't have a tiny precise brush Try to get one because it will stress you out otherwise. Let me clean it up. It's just white everywhere. You can see how like tiny it is and detailed. Nothing that you Baby you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast, I don't care. I've known you long enough. Baby you make me lose my mind. What the eyeliner looks like i'm going to go ahead and use this to tight line tight line means lining the top part of your eyes um my eyes waters a lot so especially when i've not really slept and i have contact in and i'm staring at the lights so i'm just going to do this if you if you cannot bear this please skip this step liner kind of picks up with the foundation and just makes it muddy and you need it to be like stark white I tried to use clown white from Benai. It was not runny enough. I tried to use um, aqua liners, that's water liners. It was not white enough. It was not stark white enough. So I remembered my P. Louise base and I went to look for the white one. I'm using P. Louise base in number zero. You should do this to your brushes if the bristles are not behaving. Pull out some of the is that fraying the wipe in your hand just to be wiping the tip I've actually had it out here drying for a while I wanted to show you guys that as well because it needs to get a bit thick when you just take it out of the tube it's still um, watery so you need to get it a bit thick so you want to go ahead and draw it to like lift off the black one that you've done so you want to start by you want to start from here make sure that you look up and then draw it above where your eye crease is just so that way when you open and close your eyes it doesn't smudge the liner and it just stays in place throughout 
It's very important that you put out this base to dry a bit. It's going to make your work so much easier. Can you imagine? I sent my fiance one eye of this thing done, and the next thing he replies, "My cute weirdo baby, how is this chic high fashion look weirdo?" People mock what they don't understand. To be honest. But this look was going to be easy to complete though. But the eyeliner told me, sweetie, honey, you're gonna have to take more time on me. This lower lash keeps smudging here, so I'm going to take the white from this palette. This Boca palette. I'm going to take the white from it. It's a Nigerian brand new beauty. I'm going to set it. Also, Stop smudging the q tip lined with powder, and I'm just going to wipe this off basically. And I'm going to go in with a brush, make sure that it's clean, and just brush it off. See, good as new. So I'm baking there just a bit, just to make sure that it um, covers all. I need like a smooth under eye, like here. For lashes, I'm using this one from Keola Beauty. They are in the style Scorpio from my baby girl. I'm so wow. They're in the style Scorpio. This is what they look like in the pack, and the title or the name is here. I'm so proud of her. She's so young, but then she's so enterprising. So hard working, has so many businesses. Um, please support her if you can by buying her lashes. She has really cute glosses too, which I'm going to be using. I want to make sure I use lashes that kind of flare out at the end for this look. My lash glue is from So Pro. I just put some of it on my hand, and I'm using that like it's the fastest drying lash glue I use or I own. I'm just putting it on the band. We can stay inside, time goes fast, I don't care Yeah, my under eye is good as new I'm going into this one, it's like a pinkish nude from Huda Beauty The shade is Honeymoon, I haven't actually used this shade before but it's so pretty Maybe you wanna stay tonight, time goes fast, I don't care for gloss, I'm using this one from Keola Beauty. It's a pinkish gloss. It's called Crystal. Her glosses are so plumping and so nice. I know what I want, know that I care, nothing can change that. I'm over that with um, this other one. It's called Bear. It's still from Keola Beauty. Time to wear my shirt. And this is quite a Herculean task because it is white. I'm going to show you guys what I do to wear clothes when I'm trying not to get them stained. Just get a scarf. Easier you can get like a your hair bonnet. Anything. Just drape something over your makeup. So like this. And then you just put on your shirt or whatever you want to wear. I'll put the head first before putting in the arm. You still want to keep this car. You still want to keep it there before you wear your like the hand part, so that in case it's smudging underneath your chain, it won't stain the shirt. That's how you do it. The neckline will be void of any makeup. Any makeup. Baby. I feel for you, you made it easy for me. Yeah. Wow. Make sure it aligns with the side of your waist so that way it, it cinches your waist in at the smallest side. That's how you properly put on a waist trainer. that I 
Hello and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lydia. And if you're not new, thank you so, so much, Butterfly. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Before I go to bed, I wanted to show you guys something exciting. Traditionally, my husband is meant to give me like new wrappers to welcome me into the family. You know, a new wife is supposed to be wearing new um, wrappers. So, so it's like you know, they're all so pretty. So the first one I'm going to show you is this red one. I have to look for like pretty Ankara dresses to sew with this like the next one is this green one like they are so pretty so like the colors are so nice and the patterns too because the, the material just feels very nice it doesn't feel like a regular um, material wow I'm just saying I'll just open up this red one for you guys so that you see the pattern as well can you see what I'm seeing here world's finest antivirus African fashion fabric Presents 99.00% antibacterial, safe and effective, antifungal, lasting effect up to 10 wash. Okay, so the world's finest antivirus African fashion fabric. Presents 99.00% antibacterial, safe and effective, antifungal, lasting effect up to 10 wash. Okay, so this fabric is treated already with like an antiviral chemical or something that will make like if virus should come in contact with this it will be rendered ineffective which i never like if you've heard about an antiviral fabric before <laughs> let me know because me i was like it felt so nice when he said i should check at the back of the car and i should see it so nice i was like oh all for me just the whole tradition itself is like so nice i didn't know there was something like that imagine after like the trad and white wedding <laughs> not if there are any other like native traditions i didn't know about uh, i like that all of them are from different brands though but they're all premium cotton can you see this fabric oh The next color is purple. Ah, can you see how rich these colors are? Like, oh, this is purple and it's a dark purple. Purple is not actually like one of my most favorite colors ever. So I appreciate, like, especially the lighter ones. I appreciate that this one is dark. I really can't wait to make pretty dresses with this. Definitely, definitely not going to make like wrappers i like a car made into dresses not like those you know those types that our mamas wore not that i'm saying anything is wrong with it but i prefer my car to be made into dresses so last but definitely not the least is this one so yeah my baby gave me six new um wrappers I need to show you guys that I really want to make like vlogging a very consistent thing but with the way everything is set up now I don't know if my lens will be fixed I don't know if I'm going to get I don't know like if I'm going to be able to get money to buy a new one if it can be fixed 
if you have any more ideas for me for like vlogs or normal regular makeup tutorials please please i know you guys think i don't read it or i don't it doesn't affect what i film or what i record but it really does um please try to leave me any requests i i have a few i need to film but keep them coming you get like it will give me content please please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment with your butterflies like don't don't be forgetting such an important detail don't be <laughs> i'm going to see all your amazing butterflies in my next um youtube video vlog or no vlog or regular video i'm going to see you guys in my next video stay beautiful stay amazing i love you all so 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 much bye Mwah.